Hello and I hope you're doing well. On this video we're going to take a look at this faucet and it is by BWE and it's a single hole, single handle faucet and here are some instructions. Probably not the best looking instructions. I don't think I need the instructions but if it is your first time installing it, you might want to need more than this. But, let's see. These are the instructions for the second piece. And, here is the faucet. It looks really nice. It's nice and it is in chrome. It looks like it needs a little bit of a cleaning. There, the water comes out of here, and I like that it has some some kind of protection. It lets you know which side is which. Oh, it's pretty cool. And here is the bottom piece. let's put this away for now so let's leave it the way it was for now let's just leave it this way that's that one big piece you have tape for the installation you have the hoses and you also have this and you also have the pop-up drain and it has also the chrome finish on top it has a protection here so let's take this off this one looks very clean and go ahead and you push it in that's how it closes now it's open so this is what you get when you purchase this faucet. As you can see, it gets dirty pretty fast. And at the same time, it's, it gets clean fairly easy, but just by running a piece of cloth through it. To take the faucet off, what we're going to do is, so we're going to go under and down here, First, go ahead and turn off the water, and then you do the same thing with the cold or hot water. Some faucets, you could just go ahead and unscrew the whole entire thing there. But on this one, it does have a couple of screws to make it tighter. So let's unscrew those first. Unscrew this side and that side. And once you unscrew them just a little bit, they don't have to come off. And the reason behind that is now you can turn this off. This is not going to come off all the way. What we need to do is also take the hoses off from here. Because this is not going through to the other side. So what you can do is grab two pliers, one to hold this want to hold the other side and unscrew this off so if you have two of these pliers or if you have a wrench go ahead and hold the top one first with one hand and with the other you're gonna go ahead and unscrew this one and it, there's not a lot of pressure in them so once you loosen it with the pliers you can go ahead and take the rest off with your hand now we got both off so now we can take this ring out all the way and different faucets have different ways so this is one type and I think the one that we're gonna put on there is differently so once we take these two things off then you can go ahead and grab it from top 
and pull it out. There they are. So there. Now we got it off. Now what we have to do is clean this. On this faucet, what we're gonna do is first take this off, the entire thing off. And we're gonna go ahead and put the hoses in here. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't say which one is which. If one of them is hot, the other one is cold. So, what we're gonna do is go ahead and grab one of these hoses. And one of them is red, the other one is blue. So, let's just put it here. And you're gonna go ahead and screw this in there until it's tight. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Now, as we put this together, now we this is tight, the other hose is tight. Now we have to put this in here. So grab the two hoses, they're gonna go through here. Make sure that this rubber piece is in here. So, so it's going all the way up here. Now that we have it up here, now let's take this piece and on this smaller part is going in here like that. So let's take this off. And we're gonna put the hoses right through here too. Like that. And we're gonna go ahead and screw this bottom part in there. And go ahead and do it all the way. Like that, it's already tight. There's no tools needed on this side. Now let's take it over to the countertop. The next step is to go ahead and grab the faucet. We're gonna put the hose right through here. Same thing with the other one. And we're gonna go ahead and slide everything in there. And it's gonna rest in there like that. Now on the other side, we're gonna go ahead and put the rubber piece first and then this so we're gonna go ahead and put the rubber piece same thing through both of the hoses we're gonna do the same thing with this so go ahead and slide it over we're gonna go ahead and screw it slowly and make sure that you go back to the other side and go ahead and put it straight perhaps with one hand you hold it and with the other hand you can go ahead and screw that all the way in and once you have it all the way in perhaps with a tool give it a little bit of a tight not too much you don't want to break anything just a little bit so it, the whole faucet does not move after you have installed it so right now I just kind of did it with one hand a little bit tight not too much so I can still move this around so now we're gonna go ahead and take these hoses off and you could do this beforehand I just left it for last but go ahead and take the old ones off and install the new ones in there now that you have the old hoses off one thing that you can do is go ahead and open the water of course put a bucket under Open the water and let any debris that's in here, let it out. Because there's sometimes little rocks or little stuff that's in the water that might come off from here. And the reason behind that is because on here you have a filter. And if those little rocks end up here, then you won't have a lot of water pressure. And if, let's say, you don't do that, the let the water off, and you go ahead and put this on there. And if you don't have enough water pressure, then go ahead, take this off, and check to see if this is clean. Let me show you closer. To install the new vessel, all you have to do is sit the vessel on top of that hole. 
make sure it's flushed and then your pop-up drainage it comes together in the right order so just unscrew this here and take this off and this is going on the bottom while the rest of it is gonna sit on top so we're gonna go ahead and put this in there and then on the bottom part you're gonna go ahead and first put this on there then the washer and then lastly this screw that in there now that you have this all the way in there I tighten it with my hands if you want to use a tool go ahead and uh, make it a little bit tighter not too tight you don't want to break the vessel because it's made out of ceramic but the point is having this little rubber piece be flushed and squeezed a little bit so water does not come through the other side make sure that this is tight also and now we're gonna go ahead and put the elbows back for now the first thing is this piece if you get a chance make sure that you clean the drainage uh, this is one part which was a little bit dirty so now we're gonna go ahead and put this back it goes like this and then the second piece goes like that so let's grab the other piece like that and then go ahead and screw that in there we're gonna go ahead and put this elbow and we're gonna go ahead and slide this over and tie this up and lastly we're gonna go ahead and put this in here so what we did is we grab this piece put the ring in between this and this part you make it tight here the same thing there's a ring between and then lastly this so you have all the pieces together so now go ahead and open the water check for leaks if there's any leak then go ahead shut the water back off and also check in maybe a day, two, there's no leaks around there. As for now, there's no leaks. So now we can go ahead and open the water. And you have to let the water run because there is probably the, the stuff that's been resting here for some time. Also debris might come up like I was telling you earlier, but that's basically how you change your faucet. I hope this video helps you in any way. Thank you for watching and enjoy.